It's been two months since Maya left the office. Two months without a single trial. I've had offers, but none I took. That is, until the day that girl showed up. Hey guys, Craig here and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. I bet a lot of you guys are surprised that I'm back so soon. But I've actually decided to record Case 5. And yeah, I'm pretty hyped to do it. Because I want to like get the series over of course. Because I am having fun of it. But I really want to move on to other things where I can show my real commentary. But I am really enjoying this at the same time. And this is one case I'm not sure about because there will probably be a few game overs because I have not played this case in about two or three years. And before that about seven years. And before that never. So I've been this two times and I've got hardly any memory of it and I remember from both times I've had trouble with it. But either way, here I go. Why do I come here to the office every day? It's not like I want to work. There you are, finally. Where have you been? My sister's trial is tomorrow. Uh, who are you? It doesn't matter who I am. It only matters who you are. The famous defense attorney, Mia Fey. Oh, uh, you're not Mia Fey, are you? I'm sorry, but Miss Mia Fey is no longer works here. So you are a coffee boy? I'm Phoenix Wright, a defense attorney. Right, right. Wait, you're the Phoenix Wright? The Phoenix Wright from the Edgeworth murder case? Oh my god. Be right back. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Uh, the dog is very loud. I legit just, this what happens if I leave her in the room of the house by herself. She'll look out the window and see a dog. And the fact is, she's always quiet until I start recording. And then that's when she starts wandering around the house. That's when she starts barking. That's when she just starts digging around my bed. It's very annoying. But I think she's just going to lie down in the car because I kind of like close the curtains and all on her. So, screw her. Um, yes, that's correct. It wasn't Edra who was murdered, though. That's a relief, then. You're better than nobody. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I'm not taking cases right now. But you are Phoenix right? right? The undefeated fence, apparently? Look, I'm not accepting any new cases. I'm sorry, but you'll have to try elsewhere. Please. I'm out of my time. I have time. Please, you have to help. It it's my sister. Maya? Could it be? Okay, I'll hear you out. R really? Thank you so much. My name is Emma. Emma Sky. I'm a scientific investigator. Scientific investigator? Let's talk to her. Just by herself. Emma, was it? You're a scientific investigator? Yeah, that's right. Is something wrong? No, it's just you seem kind of, uh, jumpy, or maybe just young? Young? I'll be 16 year old years old this year. Oh, I see. Wait, only 16? I'm sad to be formally assigned to Fornastics in three more years. My work is becoming quite well known. At my age, no less. So, um, so, so what was your current position then? Well, legally speaking, Guess you call me an 11th grader. But I'm ready to do my job. I'm my, my age, no less. <clears throat> do we have another future professional training? So let's ask her about the case. So what's this about case? You said the trial's tomorrow? My sister didn't do it. She wouldn't stab someone with a knife. She wouldn't. So, it's a murder case? I don't care if there's a witness who saw her do it. She didn't do it. I know she didn't do it. It's a scientific fact. And there's a witness? Just just talk to her. You have to talk to her. Right, I suppose I will. I promised her I'd bring my Faye, but... 
Mia Fey? That's interesting. How does she know Mia? So let's ask her about the Psy Investigator. So you want to be a scientific investigator and grow up then? I excuse me? I'm not a child. I'll have you know. Still, it's good to have a girl, albeit a very unusual one. I believe investigation should be done scientifically. Don't you? Uh, yeah. Sure can't fal falter for a lack of enthusiasm. If this case is hands handled scientifically, I'm sure my sister's name will be cleared. Your sister? I've been doing research, you know. I'm developing a new scientific method of the case investigation. I'll show you when I'm done. I'm looking forward to it. Guess I should get down to the detention centre and talk to her sister. Let's ask her to her relation to Mia first. My sister asked for Mia specifically. This is Mia Faith. This might me a fave person. She was a few years blower in school. So if I went to the same school, huh? She always told uh, told me to go to me if I ever need a defense attorney. And well, I need one. Um incidentally, me is a woman. Now that you mention it, guess it is more of a mo woman's name than a man's. Well it's nice of you you to help your sister out like this. You must be close. <clears throat> well, actually, when she gets l like she is now, I kind of hate her. Huh? But she is my only family. Your only family? What about your parents? They died in a car accident when I was little. Oh. I'm sorry. Alright, so let's go over to the detention centre to meet the sister she has a love-hate relationship with. Hmm, I wonder what's wrong with Emma. She got quite quiet all of a sudden as soon as we arrived. God, I thought I told you I didn't want visitors. So sorry, madam. It's just your sister. <laughs> no excuses. Or did you want to ra raise us here? Hmm? Uh, uh, understood, ma'am. What, 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 what was that all about? Hi, Lana. Funny. I seem to remember specifically telling you not to come here. Perhaps my memory is failing. Look, I didn't want to come here either, okay? But your trial's tomorrow and you still don't have a defense attorney. I'll be the one in court tomorrow. This has nothing to do with you, Emma. Isn't that right, Mr. Wright? Hey, how did you know me? Mia mentioned you. I've heard quite a bit. Uh, I'm sorry? What exactly is that you'd, what you do? Sorry, I, I, that thing is I kind of try to read and, read and talk at the same time. Sometimes I read a bit too far. My name is Lana. Lana Sky. I'm chief prosecutor for this district. You're a prosecutor? Two sisters, one a lawyer. Could this be a coincidence? Emma, Lana, I mean we're just like... Me and Maya. Is something wrong, Mr. Wright? I just like the way I've kind of made parallels between them both. It's very cool. Let's ask her about the case. There's something you should know from the start. Which is, the suspect in the case has confessed to a crime. Huh? Wait, but the suspect, the suspect is... Me. I did it. Well, Mr. Wright? Well, why don't you begin by telling me exactly what happened? A crime took place yesterday, February 21st, at 5, 5.15 p.m. But, that's quite specific. If it wasn't a witness's deposition, the witness clearly saw me committing a crime. Uh, my, that was a bit of bad luck, wasn't it? The crime took place in the underground parking lot at the chief prosecutor's office. The body was found in the trunk of the, the subordinate's car. Prosecutor's office, huh? In your subordinate's car? Trunk? <laughs> Sorry, I forgot that word twice. Classy. 
was arrested on the spot, caught red-handed as it were. Well, that's his great. Let's ask about the victim. So who is the victim? <clears throat> An investigator of the police department. I suppose the correct term is detective. A detective? Detective Gumshoe, no less. <laughs> that was due to his loss of blood. He was stabbed once in the stomach. By the way, is isn't Detective Gumshoe. <laughs> By you? <clears throat> Death was an immediate, but the wound was fatal. I say. Allow me to repeat myself, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective. You know what that means, don't you? Uh oh. Oh, Mr. Wright, what does that mean? Well, it means. The police department will consider it a matter of pride to have me found guilty. We'll use any means at our disposal to do so. This case just gets worse and worse of everything I learn. Okay, so let's ask about Lana herself. So you're the chief prosecutor? That is correct. I'm responsible for overseeing every trial handled by the prosecutors in this district. I make sure the prosecutors have what they need to to do their job and manage every aspect. Those are my responsibilities in a nutshell. That's an awfully large nutshell. Still, I'm a little surprised. I'd think you'd recognise the district's chief prosecutor, Mr. Wright. Huh? In fact, it seems impossible that you wouldn't. Uh, Lana? What happened to your hand? Oh, this? I cut myself by accident when I stopped him, that is. Huh? I'm not very good at being a criminal, I suppose. How am I supposed to defend this? Time to change the subject. Wait, she was in the class ahead of Mia, wasn't she? So let's ask her relation to Mia. Um, you were in the school of Mia, correct? A few years above her? Emma told you that too, didn't she? Well, why not? I had to drag him all the way here to, from his office. Although it seems he has a very little common Mia. Hey! It wasn't law school. I was in my third year. She was auditing the class. She was different than the other students. Different? She was strong. She had the everything to become a defense attorney. Every anything. That <clears throat> was probably why she attracted to me. I excuse me? <laughs> Intellectually attracted. Lana was top for class and skill. I was best for once. Oh, Phoenix got a bit excited of her. I'm doing pretty good in my school too, by the way. It sounds a bit different when Emma says it. Well, Mr. Wright, uh, excuse me? As you can plainly see, I'm admitting my guilt. I think it's safe to say there's no way you can take this case. None. But, but Lana. Why? Why are you doing this to me? You never think of anyone but yourself. I know you didn't do it, Lana, I know. So, how can you say you did? If I lose you, I'll be all alone. I, I hate you, Lana. Mr. Wright? Y yes? I believe our discussion here has ended. The rest, I leave to you. Um, you mean you're requesting my services as your defence? Don't lose any sleep over it. Your client has confessed after all the case is over. Right, I'll do what I can to get to the bottom of this. Lana's confessed to a crime, yes, but something doesn't fit. It's all looking at Emma's eyes. There's something else going on here, and I'm going to find out what it is. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. Huh? About what? My sister. She's not always like that, you know. I just never expected to be found another prosecutor again. She's changed a lot. She used to be so gentle, always smiling. Everyone liked her. I see. Sorry, but I'm having trouble imagining that. What happened to her? I don't know for certain myself. I think maybe she... Well, maybe not. Sounds like something that here defies a simple scientific explanation. 
Guess I'll check out this underground parking at the prosecutor's office, shall we? Okay. Okay, so let's go there now. Seriously, my dog is just walking around the house for no real reason. Just trying to find a place to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> 